two, one. Hello, and uh, tonight, tonight, I am going to do a beer experiment. Uh, something I've thought about trying, and I haven't done it yet. So, I don't know how it's going to turn out. And that is, I'm going to take a very strong uh, so-called Imperial IPA, like this specimen I have here. I'll talk a little bit about that. And I'm going to cut it with uh, seltzer water that I got for like pretty much 89 cents a bottle at Walmart. But it's just carbonated water. That's all. And I'll talk briefly about that. My goal here is to wind up with what you might want to call an IPA light. Um, it stands the reason that the seltzer water, being carbonated water, um, has zero calories, zero flavor basically, you know, it's water. Um, zero carbs and zero alcohol. So by cutting this stuff with this, it should proportionately, you know, if I mix it 50-50, it should cut the carbs, the alcohol, and the hops in half and make a, uh, hopefully a light, an ale, a light ale. Um, that's what I'm looking for. It, it's, uh, you know, they don't really see those. My favorite beer was Ballantine's Triple X Ale. And, uh, they stopped making that the way I liked it back in the early 90s, I think. So that's what I'm shooting for, a light ale. My new accordion, new, somebody gifted me with this. I'll get back into playing that again soon, I hope. So, all right, the beer I'm using here is uh, made by Goose Island. It's a $2.69 can of their beer they call Tropical Beer Hug. All right. Um, really, I know you can see it all right from there. It's really, I've had this beer before, so this isn't a review of this beer. I don't care for this beer, uh, other than it's very strong and cheap. But it's uh, too strong for my likes. And, you know, it's cheap enough that I'm going to experiment with it and see if I can't make this into something drinkable. And the seltzer water, all right? Seltzer water is just carbonated water. They get the water cold, and then they force carbonation into it, and it, if the water's cold enough, say just before freezing point, um, CO2 will, you push CO2 into it, it will integrate into the water, so that when you take the pressure off, i.e. open the bottle, or the can, uh, it escapes, right? And if it's, if it's um, colder, like this is pretty cold, the CO2 will remain, a lot of it will remain in the, in the water. Uh, if it's warmer, it will escape. And the same with any beverage, be it beer, water, be it anything, soda pop. Uh, you know, you get a warm can of soda, psh, all the foam goes all over the place. So both of these have been in my fridge for a while, so they're probably about 42, 43 degrees. All right, now I'm going to pour a test, control, whatever you want to call it, of this as it is unwatered. And you can see it's not exactly um, a dark beer. It's not hazy, really. It's pretty clear amber. Got a pretty decent head to it. Smells like tropical, smells like grapefruit and mango. Not altogether bad. Considering it's almost, it's virtually 10% alcohol. You can taste the alcohol in it. Uh, but you get the hops up front too, taste kind of floral. It tastes like it smells like uh, mango and orange grapefruit. That's not what I'm here to drink. Actually, I don't really care for it. 
All right, so I'm going to fill this up halfway with this. And because this is, you know, I'm watering down this beer, basically. But I'm watering it down with um, seltzer water so that the uh, it won't lose its carbonation. All right, so I'll try a different. I'll just add to it, see how it tastes with different amounts added to it. My goal is to get a light, very drinkable um, ale or IPA. And this honestly isn't very drinkable. I don't, I don't really care for it. It's too strong. I don't like their use of hops. All right, so you can see I've pretty much doubled. Uh, it didn't destroy the head on it. Looks pretty good still. I've almost doubled it. I pretty much have doubled it at this point. All right. Let's see how it tastes. And predictably, the color has lightened up some and cleared up even some compared to the control. The head's still on there, holding up pretty well. Looks like there's a, oh my god, there's a fly in my, is it? No. Oh yeah, there was a fly in my mug. Gross. I won't be drinking out of that. I cleaned this out. I don't know how that happened. Oh my god. Gag. Oh. I'm sure it's not the first time that's happened. I shared a drink with a bug. And I know I wiped this mug out. I don't know how that happened. Right before I took a paper towel and wiped both these mugs out. Ugh. Well, well, anyway, let's see how this tastes. Not bad. Definitely a lot more drinkable than that fly or no fly in it. I don't believe that. I don't know how he got in there. Well, I hope he enjoyed himself. Um, it does taste watered down, but I've effectively cut the alcohol in half, the carbs and the calories and the bitterness. Everything's been reduced to half of what the value the value was. So it should be around 5% 5, 5 alcohol at this point, and uh, half whatever. can't believe I did that. I don't know how that fly got in there. Because about five minutes before I started making this video, I, I wiped everything out real clean with a clean paper towel to make sure there was no... no he must have flown in there, I don't know. A thirsty fly, I guess. That's gross. Good thing that was enough hooch in there that, ugh, I don't want to think about it. That's not bad. Honestly, it's not bad. I mean, it tastes like beer still, uh, but very drinkable. I mean, right now I'm kind of uh, pleased with this experiment. I think maybe a little less. It might be a little too weak, too watery. Um, it definitely still has a carbonation drinking it. I don't believe that fly. All right, so I think with the, um, you could try this with different beers. I don't like the hops they use in this. 
I don't think it's a good tasting beer. I bought it because it was cheap and it's pretty strong. It's very strong, in fact. 9.9% alcohol, 10% alcohol. It's very strong. I figured it'd be a good sample. I would recommend trying this with other beers. I might even try it with Guinness Stout, though. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you'd have to toy around with it. I'm adding more to this. So, I'm adding a little more of the beer flavor. It was about 50% uh, water down, and it wasn't bad. A little weak. It's not bad. I definitely think it tastes better with the seltzer. Now, if it was a really good IPA, that something I really liked, I might drink it straight up. As it is, it is not. It's not a good IPA at all, in my opinion. My own opinion. If you're looking for something really strong, fairly cheap, yeah. If, uh, seriously? I wouldn't buy it. That's the only reason I bought this. It's just for this experiment. It's definitely healthier for me. Watered down. It doesn't taste too bad either. Honestly, it, it still tastes like an IPA. A healthier IPA, you could say. Yep, I almost drank a fly. Fortunately, I didn't get that thing in my mouth. Been one of those days. It's not bad. Effervescent, you can still see the uh, bubbles floating up through that. I mean, it's the colder you get this, the better it's going to be for this because the colder you can get this right up to almost freezing, the coldness will lock the CO2 into the uh, water so that when you pour it into your beer, um, it'll stay in there longer, it won't just fizz out. Because as you can see, this is still holding up a fairly decent head on it. Even a little lace, watered down as it is. A little lace. But you gotta figure, I put in quite a bit of water into this. Um, my beer's about... This much of my beer is in these two. I dare say I put in probably half, 50% water roughly. And I would do this again. I, I would do this again. In fact, uh, it's come out pretty well. I actually kind of got what I would call an IPA light here. And it, it even though it's watered down, I mean, this beer was extremely strong. Um, 40, it had 45 IPUs, all right? 45 IBUs is not a lot of IBUs, really. It's a lot for any beer, but for an Imperial IPA, I don't think it's a considerable amount of you know, IBUs. Experiment with it. Get yourself a good glass. Very uh, clear compared to the one the fly preferred. That's the one the fly dove into. That's getting poured out. 
hate to say it. If I was a true barbarian, I would uh, just go ahead and drink it. No thanks. You might be able to see that it's still, uh, yeah, there's still um, carbonation in the beverage. You can see the bubbles coming up. And I suspect that's probably mostly from the seltzer water that I put in it. That's a good thing. Oop, somebody's thinking of me. Somewhere. My messenger just dinged. Goose Island beers, all right. Um, I hate to say it, I'm not a big fan of their beers. They, as far as I know, they do IPAs, namely IPAs, and they're, they're always, um, the good thing I can say about them, two things I can say good about them. They're inexpensive. For an IPA, they're on the lower price range, and they are drinkable. I mean, they're not horrible, but they're not. I would, I usually don't reach for their beers, but hopefully they'll, uh, you know, get get their recipes down. You know, keep whatever. Yeah, filling them. I don't know if you want to, if you know, if you like your IPAs and you don't have a life like me, you know, you think about this stuff, uh, I'm going to make a video. I usually cut my IPAs with like um, Miller Lite or sometimes Alt Michelob Ultra because uh, they're pretty um, neutral flavored light beers. And it occurred to me, why not try it with the seltzer water? It's carbonated, your beer isn't going to go flat. And you can really take control of how much alcohol is in the glass. You know, you could effectively figure out the alcohol and everything that's, uh, I mean, this is quite a bit of water there, as you can see. almost clear as you can see let's see how it is now it's probably like three quarters water it tastes good honestly it does taste good it's refreshing um, it doesn't really taste a whole lot like beer at this point with this much I, poor dog he's Oh, he's trying to get him to stop. He's got hot spots. Sorry, he's behind me doing this. He probably can't hear it. Uh, yeah, at this point, it doesn't taste a whole lot like beer. It tastes more like seltzer water. <clears throat> like beer-flavored seltzer water. I don't know, play around with it, maybe. It's not bad. Honestly, it's not bad at all. Get it right where you want it. A little more beer. Yeah, a little more. At this point, it tastes like Mick Ultra, if you're familiar with that beer. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Definitely healthier for you. If you're trying to watch your weight. Or your blood sugar for that matter. You got a problem with diabetes. What's up, pal? I 
this point it tastes kind of like what it looks like, Make Ultra. Which you could say, why don't you just buy Mick Ultra? It, you know? No. So I would add a little more. Man, you stink. Ugh. Nothing like having a hound dog that wants to be a lap dog. God bless him. I love this dog. I think it would be better if I had a different beer because I don't like the flavor. I don't like the hops in this beer. Um, I will say that it's a pretty good idea if you want to kind of take control of, you want a, an IPA light. Yes, you can get, you can make yourself very easily an IPA light this way. Yeah. Somebody gifted me this accordion. Honestly, an old college professor. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm an English college professor that a uh, good friend of mine. Uh, I met her and I told her that, you know, I play accordion. I don't know how that came up. And uh, she says, oh, she had one in her attic. And she uh, gave me this. Very nice accordion. I've never played one this nice. Um, I've been playing guitar lately, but I need to get back into accordion. This, this accordion is top shelf of the top shelf. It's very, very good. Even has electric pickups in it. For the bass. Eh, ah, it's a different subject. I've got like six accordions. I think I'm going to sell, I'm going to give somebody one. I'm going to gift a fellow one that he's very good with music. Um, he plays out at bars and stuff and folk music, guitar, and he sings. And, you know, he's not going to be probably the latest great sensation on music, but he entertains people. And, uh, and, enjoys it and he likes the accordion he really likes that I play accordion actually I, we played together a few times I'm gonna give him an accordion I think and I'm gonna keep this one I have a hard time giving away gifts if somebody gives me something for a gift um, I have a hard time I don't like to give away things that somebody gave me as a rule there are exceptions. So this is the original. And you can see I've lightened it up quite a bit. It still has some head on it. Whereas this one went flat. Maybe it's because of that fly. I don't know. You had witnessed me on video drinking a beer with a fly in it. I can't believe I drank this whole, this stuff is, I don't like this beer, honestly. I think if I did this with a beer I liked, it would come out even better. I don't like their choice of hops in this beer. Well, I've just invented a whole new weird way to drink beer, right? Keep yourself a little bottle of seltzer water around. Water your beer down. Make sure you have an accordion and a basset hound nearby. To complete your weirdness. It's not bad. Um, it's not bad at all. I think I would actually recommend trying this if you're the type of person that likes to experiment with these things. Uh, get yourself a good glass and uh, you don't got to do all this, you know, just 
Mix it till you get it right where you want it. You save yourself a little money too. Because uh, I'm pretty full. I don't, I don't even feel like finishing this at this point. I don't know if I lost my beer appetite after having a fly in my beer or not. All right. Oops. Get rid of that all together. I have a son in Tarsus, Turkey. He works there, lives there, and works there. And he loves it there. He really, really loves it. He speaks the language. He's traveled around the world quite a bit. And uh, he's conjoling me to come visit him there. And if I do, it'll definitely give me some new material for my channel, Christian material. Paul of Tarsus, the Apostle Paul, came from there. It was his hometown. And... Uh, it is predominantly a Muslim country, of course, but my understanding is that they're pretty moderate there, tolerant. Um, so, I was there a long time ago. Parachuted into Kurdistan with a machine gun a long time ago. And I don't think some of them were too happy for that. This is different. I'm going there to visit my son and uh, visit this old, old, ancient, old city. It should be very interesting, God willing, if I make it there. Oh, man. Gotta figure I've almost drank a full bottle of seltzer sitting here. I mean we're right here on the seltzer. So I'm pretty full. Definitely a healthier way to drink IPAs. Yeah, that's done. Ugh. Gross. Sorry, Goose Island. There are probably some people out there that think your beer is the best stuff on the planet. Not me. Now there's seltzer waters. There's different waters. Um, tonic water, I think, has some flavoring to it, so I wouldn't use it. Seltzer water is just carbonated water. So, shoot for seltzer water. Now, if I could have just poured distilled water in here, or plain old water, it would definitely, the, the water, the beer would go flat. So, carbonated water, i.e. seltzer water, is what you want to use. And if you want to get a light IPA, uh, tweak it to your own liking, maybe not so much as I went pretty heavy on the seltzer, Try it. Honestly, it, it's drink. It's very drinkable. This beer is much better with this added to it. Yeah, I'd say this was a good idea. Honestly, if uh, this is what you're looking to do, just get yourself an IPA and, or any beer. If you just want to make a light beer out of any beer. Lower the carbs, lower the alcohol, lower the calorie intake. Get yourself some seltzer water. And if you're not, you know, if I was doing this around people, I, I probably wouldn't care, but they'd probably notice, like, what are you doing to your beer? I really don't care. I'm making my beer the way I want it. In this case, healthier and easy to drink because I've darn near drank a whole bottle of water at this point sitting here making this video oh that's it 
Well, there you have it. Experiment over. Good night. God bless you.